Hello, 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 and happy Monday. It's art snack time. How is everyone on its President's Day? So if you have younger kids, they're probably either home with you or you're watching your grandkids. There's no school, right? It's, it's President's Day. And today might be a little bit different, or it might be exactly the same. It's just another day for you. I am coming to you from Sugar Hill Art Studios. My name is Amy, Amy Murray, and I am here to do a little tidbit of art with you. All right, so 21 prompts. How's everybody doing? We are on, what is today, the 20th. Not that the date matters, but we're 20 days in. How many times, doesn't even matter if you're using this, how many times have you gotten into your art journal? Whatever art journal it is you're using, how many times have you sat down, whether it be for 15 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes, have you played in your journals today? All right, or this month. I am going to show you a good quick technique for silhouettes. All right, that is the next prompt that I'm going to tackle here on uh, my prompt list and in my little journal. I'm going to turn everything down and I'm just going to, it should work. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so let me flip that, flip that. Let's get you turned down. Oh, my camera is all out of whack today. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here's what we have. We have our journal. And I have this photo. It's, a, it's one of the free photos that I pulled offline and I printed it out on cardstock, okay? I'm gonna work over here. I figured I wanna put a silhouette on this page and then I'll probably do some writing and bring things together. This is originally my thick and thin page. I, have, I haven't come back to it since I laid the color down. And that's okay. That's, that's why I chose to work in this spread today because I want to talk to you about, I want you to remember, I should say, how important it is to, or it's okay. It's okay if you lay down color and you, and you put something in and that felt good that day, but then you come back and you feel like, things aren't finished on that page or you want to do more and you do more. Your art journal pages are don't ever have to be finished, so to speak, okay? All right, so silhouette, you can use your X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors and you're basically just going to go through and you're going to get down her silhouette. Now, I probably will add in hair like I want but I want to get her face, okay? And she is definitely turned more than a straight silhouette. Uh, you can certainly do this on, um, you can certainly do this with your um, children or grandchildren, you know, take the photo. Silhouettes are great. They're super fun. Now, like I said, you can come in just with your knife and do this, but I am going to, and I'm gonna skip her eyelashes there because I can add those after, right? You just take a photo, any photo that you want, and you are going to simply cut out the sides. I'm using an X-Acto knife because she's very fine in detail and I want to capture that. So I just want to hopefully get that in here. And I might have to use scissors. This this blade is really, really dull. Let's take my time and press a little bit harder. Kind of come back around. Now I did go over this with, 
or this is cardstock. So how was everyone's weekend? How is everybody feeling about February? Can you believe that February is like over almost? This is, all right, we're gonna go with the scissors because I can't find my other X-Acto knife and that is so very dead. And of course I just have giant scissors. Let's come in and see what we can do with scissors. Remember when you're doing some fine tuning, you're closing the scissors slowly and you're moving your paper. Okay, you're moving what you're cutting. You're not moving the scissors. You're just closing the scissors ever so slowly. Okay. Put that under my hand. I'm just going to bring this around, and I don't want to, I actually want to come up here, and I'm going to just take her hair, again, like her eyelashes, I know I can add that in, I'm just going to smooth this out, and I'm going to keep I want to get as far back and just slowly close my scissors as I'm coming around. Slowly. I want to keep that there. And this is just an easy, simple way to get a silhouette. Now you could print it on bigger paper and actually, like by using cardstock, you're almost making a stencil. You'll see, I have this cut out, but I'm just gonna come in, I'm just gonna make her chin work there. Okay. <clears throat> I want to hold on. This is actually the part that I need. Right? Not so much her face. But this part. <clears throat> and I can come in. I'll bring the nape and bring this around. And okay. So I have two options. I actually had it cut out too small to just cut out inside and have the silhouette, right? This could be just a stamp if I had the outside parts, which is what I would typically do with um, the young kids, right? And so here, can you see that? If these were taped together, here is her silhouette, right? And you could just use it as a stencil and just stencil fill that in we're going a little bit in the opposite direction right with these pieces and so I can do the same thing kind of put those down with some washi tape or I can grab her let me just grab some scrap paper Grab her, and I am gonna move her. I don't, I, I want to enjoy some of her curls, so I do think I'm gonna put that there. And I'm going to trace. I'm going to trace with a fine point Sharpie. And 
I don't want it right at the edge, but now this is super fun when it's your loved one's silhouette. Okay, take your time. I'm going nice and slow just because I know sometimes how my hands want to work. What they want to do, I'm just making them up. this up. Alright. And I'm going to just kind of lightly come around here right now. And I'm going to bring that there. Silhouette. Okay. I'm going to come in with what did I just do with? Oh, right here. So if I want to come in after Right, so right here, see, is her eyelashes and some curls. I'll put that in. But for starters, silhouette. Now, huge fan of Payne's Gray versus black, right? It's kind of my ammo. I'm not 100% sure how that's gonna work. So I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of black into my Payne's Gray. So what I have going here on my very messy palette in my very empty I got really, really lucky right there on that whole squirt that I just did. I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes that I'm used to controlling, right? And I'm going to, I want to be able to come in on the tip. this in. I got some Payne's Gray and some black. And we're just going to give the silhouette. And see how I'm using the edge? Instead of coming along this way, which sometimes I've got my brush good and loaded right now, but there it goes. It's going to start to skip on me, right? But if I keep my brush and I get my paint. So here's my mixture and I get my paint good and just at that tip and I have a nice line. I can continue to have a nice edge. Chloe. Right, versus there sometimes. It's not always perfect. Chloe. I apologize. They're actually walking the horses across the street. They're walking them out on the road. So. I wish this wasn't happening right now. My deepest apologies. Because that is the worst. For you to be watching me and having them do this right now. All done. All done. You want to grab a smaller brush. There, I think Caitlin caught them. Probably heard them out into the garage. No Mac. Guys, stop, please. Thank you, Hayden. There we go. All right. Hmm. 
Doesn't that, it looks awesome already, right? Let me just get a smaller, one of my smaller brushes maybe. Let's go with this one. Just another straight edge. And I'm just gonna come in with my edge. Getting some paint on here. Get that brush loaded up. There. And come in. I love silhouettes. They always look so cool. Cool, right? All right, so there is that part. Now I need this to dry before I go touching it, but I can add in some of the eyelashes and her curls, right? And that's gonna look really, really cool. If I'm looking over here and I wanna add in you know, because I don't want her to be like, she's not bald. She's got a good ponytail up here. So I'm going to give her that. All right. I'm going to give her that by... She's got a lot of hair. Now the reason I didn't oh, get it perfectly is because I, I want the nape, I want that to, to really shine through. Okay, so just kind of and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Get that edge going. And we're going to get some good without getting too Okay, and over here, just coming in, same thing. Good amount of paint on the tip of my brush. And just ever so gently, I'm going to kind of give her That's very much her profile. There we go. Get that up in there. Hair matters. I actually think it's like the telltale sign. All right. And with the teeniest, tiniest flick. Just ever so slightly. Just, just teeny tiny. Did you see that? Teeny tiny. I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna kind of just let it flow. I might come back in and fix the front a little bit, give her a little bit more, but silhouette. Right? Kind of fun. Kind of 
kind of fun. Let's flip you guys back up the right way. I know it's a quiet, it's a quiet, quiet day on Sugar Hill. <sighs> hello, 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 everybody. Oh, look, I got comments. Let's see. How is everyone? What do we have? What do we have? Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at all you guys on here. Hello, hello. I'm always hacking away with my scissors and messing everything up. <laughs> oh, the scissors? It really is. Like, I... So for me, with my hands, this is the, like some people are like, those are huge scissors. Why don't you have smaller ones? Well, because these bigger scissors fit really nicely in my hand and I don't need small. I just need to get in here with the start, right? And then slowly close and I'm moving my paper. And so I rarely use teeny tiny scissors to get into the teeny tiny places sometimes i have to but i can't cut a lot with those because it, it just hurts my hands um i know i apologize again for the dog outburst ay 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 it is real life thank you guys for understanding <laughs> it's very stressful on my end though when when things like that happen and i can't control it it's very stressful so that was awesome. Oh, good, Rita. Yeah, like look how, right? So find an image, whether whatever image you want it to be, whether it's an image of someone you love, yourself, just an image you have. I use a lot of free images. I kind of have them stored away um, for uh, just references. But you want to make sure you use free images because it's someone else's face. So it has to not be copyrighted or a photographer's work of art, right? So sometimes you have to, now with a silhouette and things like that, yes, you there's there's a lot of forgiveness there, right? And you're not selling it and, and all of the things. But just think about the free images that are available out there. It just makes life a lot easier, all right? So for a silhouette super easy there are two ways you could cut and have this part and trace it like i did making a stencil so cutting out the inside and then going over with like a, a foam brush and the paint is even easier but but you know whatever i like to throw in some of the details like i said and there we go super simple that is a silhouette and if that's all you get done today for your journal page that's okay you can come back in and there's you can write in white pen on top of the black you can do a quote on the outside you can just leave as is you you know what you can do but when you get bases down now coming back into your journals and you open to this spread you're like bam now i know what i want to do now I know, now I'm inspired. And so the practice of art daily, even if it's 10 minutes, realistically, if I was concentrating, if I wasn't distracted by the dogs and all the other things that literally from the time I cut to the time I was done painting, couldn't be more than 10 minutes, maybe 15, but seriously. And if that's all I got done quick before I headed out to work or had to go do something, all right, it's okay. I come back and I'm like, ooh, now I know what I want to do with her. Okay? All right, everybody, you have a great day. Happy Monday, and I'll see you soon.